Tanya is having a time. Because, uh, you know, Jack in the Box, right? And the photos came out today. J Hop! Okay, so first of all. So Tanya is having a time. So let me let me just preface this. If you guys didn't know, Tanya's bias is Hobie. Hobie. Like hardcore Hobie. Hardcore Hobie. Um so we got more information about J Hope's mix album. I'm gonna call it an album now since it's not a mixtape. Um so we got more information about J Hope's album. It's called Jack in the Box, which is amazing, first of all. I love that. This boy also have been has been spoiling this the shit for years. For years. Like what are we doing? <laughs> Hello? Can we just I can't with him. So today we um, got some more information. We got concept photos for the first drop. And this man. He he decided to not be scared anymore and do the scaring instead. Kind of spooky. But I love it. I love it. I love Dark J-Hope. Can we just... Ooh! Like, this image... Oh, my... uh, His eyes, yo. The eye makeup... Honestly, I kind of think that this is going to be... Obviously, he told us, like, during the Weverse article that he wanted to bring this, like, more emotional, darker side. Like, have a darker tone. Okay, I'm sorry. This this Discord feed we have right now is... um, I don't... It's difficult. It's difficult to, like, experience, to be (laughs) perfectly honest with you. Um, I'm really excited about what the sound is going to be because to me and i'm excited to see how many tracks we get too yes so um the first track is uh more right is more yeah that's the title track for this particular album and i am really interested to see what this is going to sound like because based on these images it kind of reminds me of like a punk rock sort of mm-hmm. vibe so i'm kind of wishing we get like a it's, punk it's giving rock me like Kobe. a very dark joker-esque yes. kind of thing with so the yes. whole like jack in the box and yeah, like yeah, the yeah, yeah. And the, the hat and the photo that's why i was thinking punk because it really reminds me of like um simple plan or like mm-hmm. yeah i'm like getting real punk vibes and you guys know how much i love my simple plan i know well and also like the rock vibes too i'm like feeling this like rocky punk vibe and i'm just i'm so here for it it's kind of a side of hobie we haven't like we haven't seen before we haven't really seen before and i think that's why you know like he was talking about the fact that a lot of his like you know, music has been very like lighter in tone you know like ego and dance like trivia dance and like um, even his previous even like album. the the units with the rap line like <laughs> from like yeah just his his rap in general is usually lighter yeah than like uh, yeah yungis or namjoons for example and mm-hmm. even like when they're like their outfits like his is usually like brighter more colors yeah. Brighter. Yeah, yeah, yeah 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 yeah, and so I this agree. is like a whole other side of Kobe we haven't like truly seen before. Yes, I'm and really I'm excited to see it. I'm um, loving like even um uh this image here. Let me and like the colors, like the green and everything, is still very much Kobe. Totally, but still staying into the concept of like darker and everything. Oh, it's which, just it's just it's great. So good. I mean, like, so what the fuck is wrong here? What is this? I don't know but like the title like cover looks really cool um we are getting something that's like new and interesting with this particular album is it's going to be a mixture of um a online album so you get yeah, like online and physical and physical so basically, yeah so basically uh i think they called it a weaver's album mm-hmm. so basically this album doesn't have a physical cd in it Yes. Uh, it comes with like the photo cards and stuff like that as usual, but you get a card that you will like with a QR code that you scan into the app and then the album is on there. Yeah, and I've been seeing, um, honestly, I think this is a really interesting concept. I don't, I can't say whether or not I like it or not because I haven't, like we haven't tested it out. I guess we'll see uh, in a couple weeks, right? Yeah, and you know, I think 
like Seventeen's last album, oh. Fate, uh, Face the Sun, that one is a Weverse album. Yeah, I think there are two on there right now. There are. So there's Fate of the Sun, uh, Face the Sun, sorry, and um, I don't actually know what this one is. From our memento box is uh, Throw Miss Nine. Yeah, One so... of the girl groups from High. So this is going to be like very uh, an interesting way. I I'm really interested to see how this all fits together and what this like what the physical is going to look like comparatively to like what the um online version is. We're getting like online photo cards and like all this kind of stuff. So mm-hmm. I don't know what it's going to look like, but I'm interested to see how it's all going to work. Um, <laughs> I I just love the reaction of the group chat when it says you can buy up to forty. I know. What is that? Well, okay, so here's the thing. It's like this particular album, um, physical copies don't count towards Billboard. Yeah. Um, which is good, I think, personally. Like Yeah, we're gonna have to to um rely solely on streaming. Which, you know, for Yungi's um D two we got it to number 11 on the Billboard 200 for albums without like any album, any physical it is definitely so it's possible and i think we just gotta Mm -hmm. like give ourselves a little bit of credit here you know we can definitely we just gotta do a yes to come slash jack in a box playlist and stream both at the same time well that's the thing right like (laughs) we're good at we're we're good at doing this like it's it's, just stream both albums at the same time i also feel like you know, ARMY is really good at adapting, and we've always adapted to any of the rules for Billboard. And to be honest, for Proof, they had, like, just changed, so we had to do another yeah. adaptation towards it. And I feel like we will continue to do our adaptation and, you know, morph to whatever this new thing is. And you know what? It's ironic because I think even in Yet to Come, The lyrics said, like, we don't care about trophies or accolades. It doesn't Mm -hmm. matter at the end of the day. And I think we can just enjoy this album. Like, of course, we're still going to push as fast and and as hard as we can. That's what we do. But I think for them, it doesn't matter. Like, that's not what matters. They just keep proving to us that they're not doing this for, like, the recognition and everything. They're just like, I just want our fans to enjoy the music that we're putting out. And that's why I'm excited about this album is because we really get to enjoy it and like completely I have a feeling it's going to be ourselves. so different from Whole World and I'm so excited. I'm so ready for <laughs> this difference. Like I'm just, I'm so ready for it. Like even these concept photos are like giving me so much difference um, from oh. what we've seen. <laughs> like, just the, just the, the album design from Whole World was so, so different. different. Like different. the flower and the red and the... Like, Oh man, I I'm excited. Like the monotone vibe to it, like yeah, mm-hmm. I'm so it's gonna ready. be so good. This. It's I know, which is good. It's making and, me. But if we're gonna try and give you guys a reaction when it that does come of out, course. so yeah, we'll this do is like be, feel special. We'll do a more um, reaction than an album uh, reaction to the whole thing, but I'm extremely excited it even makes me more excited for um uh Lollapalooza too because like mm-hmm. we'll get like these songs yeah you're, oh my god you're gonna be able to see those we'll see hear those live yeah yeah <laughs> I know I know it's gonna be absolutely wild I'm so excited for you <laughs> I will put uh, yes